My name is James Jacob. I'm a breast surgeon at Mayo Clinic. I'd like to spend the next few minutes talking to you about the surgical options. The two main surgical options a woman faces when she's diagnosed with breast cancer is a lumpectomy or a mastectomy. A lumpectomy involves preserving the majority of the breast tissue and removing the breast cancer with a surrounding rim of normal breast tissue. This outer rim of breast tissue we call the margin, and you can think of that like a peel of an orange. The goal is to get a clear margin, and if we accomplish that with a lumpectomy, then typically we provide radiation to the breast after a lumpectomy, whereas with a mastectomy, radiation can typically be avoided. It is true that by preserving more breast tissue, there is a slightly higher risk of recurrence in that breast than if a patient has a mastectomy. Most women typically overestimate this risk of local recurrence in the breast. In a recent study of almost 900 patients who underwent a lumpectomy with standard surgical treatment, including radiation therapy to the breast and hormonal therapy or chemotherapy, at six years, the risk of local recurrence in the breast was only 2%. One of the big factors we need to understand is choosing between a lumpectomy or a mastectomy is not going to influence your likelihood of cure. Most people have trouble accepting that, but surgery is a local therapy, as is radiation therapy. Distance spread or death occurs if the cells spread outside of the breast, and so that treatment is typically treated with chemotherapy. Whether a patient has a lumpectomy or a mastectomy does not influence the medical oncologist's decision to give chemotherapy. Many factors go into the medical oncologist's decision to give chemotherapy, but the type of surgery you have, a lumpectomy or a mastectomy, is not one of them. It also should be understood that a mastectomy, no matter how radical, cannot remove every single breast cell. And therefore, a mastectomy is not 100% preventative of local recurrence. It is true that a lumpectomy does increase the risk slightly of recurrence in the breast, but there's lots of other factors that determine whether someone is going to have a recurrence or not. In a recent study of over 1,300 women with high-risk breast cancer, there was no difference in the local recurrence rate in the breast if someone had a lumpectomy or a mastectomy. Um, so these are very different treatments, a lumpectomy versus a mastectomy, and a lot of factors go into uh, a woman deciding what she prefers. Uh, a lot of this becomes personal choice, and that's why it's very difficult for a patient because we're supposed to be the experts and know the most about this disease, but it, in general, we can't tell a patient what to do. Most patients have a choice, and some patients value having a breast a lot more than others. Some would prefer just to have their breast removed, don't have to worry about radiation, don't have to worry about further mammograms, um, and some people will go um, through a mastectomy because of the decreased risk of recurrence, even though that risk is small. They want to decrease their risk as low as they can and feel like they've done everything they can. So if we start on that level playing field that chemotherapy is not influenced by this, um, or the likelihood of you getting chemotherapy is not influenced by the surgical treatment, your cure is the same, then we can start to talk about things like, you know, how well is radiation tolerated, um, how high is the likelihood of recurrence, and in general with lumpectomy it's low. Um, I think one thing that has promulgated a lot of women to proceed more frequently now with mastectomies and even bilateral mastectomies is the improved cosmetics with reconstruction and even things like nipple sparing mastectomy that we couldn't offer before. Mastectomies uh, uh, in prior days were very disfiguring um, and that's not typically the case now. But still a lumpectomy allows a patient to preserve their own breast to have an outpatient procedure typically um, and to have the same chance of cure. So there are certainly advantages. But by preserving the breast, um, you do have more breast tissue at risk, and that scares a lot of women. Unfortunately, a lot of this is put back on the patient to ultimately decide, because most women do have a choice. You know, Certainly there are tumors that are too big, we can't do a lumpectomy. But in general, most patients have a choice, so it can be very stressful for someone to make this decision. Um, I think our main goal is to address any fears, um, any myths, um, and make sure the patient understands what the pros and cons are. Sometimes patients want to meet with a radiation oncologist before surgery to discuss the radiation in more detail, or meet with a plastic surgeon to discuss uh, the plastic reconstructive options. But ultimately, it will be up to the patient to decide um, if they'd prefer to have a lumpectomy and preserve their breast, accepting radiation therapy after, or proceed with a mastectomy with or without reconstruction. We at Mayo Clinic realize this is a stressful time, and choosing between a lumpectomy and a mastectomy can be a big decision. We want you to know we will support your decision, and I hope this video gave you some added information. Wishing you the very best along this journey.